Coleman Memorial, uh, founded in 1952, and they have a new banner this year. Could you tell me why that is? Well, each lodge uh, sets itself a target and raises money to uh, re-equip itself with a banner uh, when the time comes round. But one of the reasons was uh, to remember the Ulster Defence Regiment, which is on the reverse side. Another view of this very important symbol of orangeism, the Bible and the crown, linking both the Britishness and the Protestantism of the folk on parade. I just remind you that we're watching the uh, earlier part of the parade, which began and started to come past us here uh, in Bedford Street uh, before we went live on the air. Do you have to go into training for uh, a walk if you're not a walker usually? No, I, uh, I think the folk just get up and have their sort of bread and cup of tea and set out and hope that they arrive safely and return safely. Bright colours are obviously very popular. Yes, although uh, most of the brethren in Belfast wear the famous orange collarette, the sash and the collarette actually emerged at the same time. Uh, and uh, sashes have become increasingly popular, although we haven't seen many of them identified this morning. Looking down Bedford Street towards uh, the Ulster Hall there. Latimer and De Ridley, the famous uh, Reformation martyrs from England, on that particular banner. Well, now we're back again live because the Bands and the lodges take a rest at this point. They've just resumed their march on their way to Eden Derry. Like uh, Royal Marines, this uh, uniform, isn't it? With the yes, this is a band from Kilkeel, so uh, obviously the, the sounds of the waves has, uh, has got to them. They look very much like Royal Marines, very, very well turned out and very smart. Young man from Scotland. Well, if I can just interrupt you there, because we're coming to the end of our time, Clifford. Uh, here we are on this 12th. It's uh, been a momentous week for Orangeism. Uh, we're going to leave our coverage of this year's 12th procession as it makes its way through central Belfast on its way to the field at Eden Derry. There will, of course, be full reports of the day and all our bulletins throughout the day and in Newsline the 12th at 10 o'clock on BBC One Northern Ireland. Your commentators for today's 12th celebration coverage were Walter Love and Dr Clifford Smith. And as Walter said, you can see highlights of uh, today's parades this evening on BBC One Northern Ireland at 10 o'clock.